Hi everyone, my name is Sam Stars. I am a trained art therapist and the author of this book, Draw for Your Soul, Circle Animals, A Journey in Self-Discovery. Today I'm going to take you through a quick process of associating and creating a whimsical animal that represents your top value. My book takes you through exercises that can help you figure out your top five values, exercises to figure out what animal best represents them, and some exercises to help you get really clear on what living your best life looks like. The Draw for Your Soul Circle Animal Workbook will also show you how to create recognizable animals to represent your values and finish off showing you how to create a personalized totem pole that represents your most important values. This video is just a quick run through of me coming up with my own unique animal for my top value. My top value and my number one strength is creativity. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to turn creativity into a whimsical animal using techniques from my Draw For Your Soul Values workbook. To begin, we're gonna just use some paper and a mark making tool for the first part, I'm going to use a pen. We're going to brainstorm what animals represent creativity or whatever your top value is. The first animal that comes to mind for me is a crow because they use tools to solve puzzles and can come up with unique and creative ways to get what they want. The next one that comes to mind is probably monkeys or chimpanzees. The primates tend to also have creative problem solving skills, so that's why they came to mind. Um, creativity for me is also about colour, so a rainbow lorikeet also springs to mind. Weirdly, and I don't know why, an octopus just came to mind. Perhaps because it has eight tentacles and sometimes you think need to think of numerous different ways to do things before you find an idea to grab a hold of. So having those eight arms to reach for different things is what allows it to be more creative and come up with new and different ways to accomplish its goals. This process has, funnily enough, come up with a super creative idea and I think I'm gonna take the octopus and the rainbow lorikeet and kind of merge them together to create a brand new animal that best represents my creativity. Now, if we look at the beginning of the workbook, the first part of the workbook, it helps teach us how to break animals down into recognizable parts using circles to help us with the proportions. The workbook does Focus on animals as we know them, but there is also an invitation to create your own amalgamation of animals to create something that is unique to you, which is what I'm doing today. So now we will need paper and a pencil to start with. I will then be using a uniball black pen and then Copic markers to render the rainbow octopus kit but you can use whatever tools you have at hand that you feel comfortable using. So first I'm going to do a circle, which will be the main body of the octopus. From there I'm just going to draw some lines to see where I want to have the tentacles. And I'm going to have one holding a brush, one holding a palette, 
And I might have a couple holding some paint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm going to give it two cutesy eyes, like the ones you can find in my workbook. And I'm actually going to give it a bird beak like a rainbow lorikeet. Next I shall flesh out the legs, the tentacles. And as artists are often stereotyped as wearing berets, I'm going to give our octopus a beret. some splotches of paint on here. Maybe have a bit of paint running out of the tube here. And here. And now add in the little suckers. Now at the moment I'm not worried about going over the top of lines because I'm going to erase the ones that I don't need after I render it in. Now that I've got the details finalised, I'm going to render this with my Uniball Eye Black Pen and I'll fast forward through that one. Now I'm just adding some final details and then I will erase all the lines and I just want you to remember that it's okay to make mistakes, don't worry about it. Make a mistake and just keep on going, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day it doesn't matter, it's all just practice and it's, it's all just expression and it's not about making some masterpiece that you're going to sell in a museum someday so try not to let any mistakes bother you I have made plenty of mistakes on this piece today and I'm going to keep going with it because mistakes don't matter and I really want to model for you that it doesn't matter if you make mistakes just do it and have fun with it and it'll have meaning for you and that's the only person that this needs to have any meaning for. Okay, now, like I said, I'm going to give it some rainbow lorikeet colours. By adding some orange, yellow and red on the chest area. And then the head with blue and a little bit of blue underneath that would be going down on the chest. 
and then the rest of it I'll be doing in green Then once that's done, I'm going to do the colour of the paint because this octopus likes to paint in the same colours it is. There's going to be a little bit of red and orange and yellow and blue and green. And now I'll finish off the beret followed by the suckers and add the other little bits and Bobs. I'm going to come in here with some Posca pen as well and then at the very end I'm going to just add some little bits of white and it'll be done and this will represent my highest value so every time I look at it it will act as a reminder asking me if I am living a life that aligns with my highest value because if I am, that will automatically give my life value and meaning and that is the purpose of my workbook. To help you learn about yourself and give you a reminder so you can keep checking in with yourself to make sure you're living your best life full of value. And please remember, we aren't striving for perfection here because life is never perfect. Mistakes are how we learn, so let's accept our mistakes, learn from them, and keep going. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a go at your own animal that represents your highest value. Please feel free to come over to my Facebook group and share your animal if you feel called to. I will leave the link in the description as well as the link for you to go and buy this book if you want to dive a bit deeper into this whole process.